We have reports from multiple sources that false flags like this one, and I cannot call it otherwise, are being prepared in other parts of Syria, including the southern suburbs of Damascus. They plan to plant some chemical there and accuse the Syrian government of an attack. However, we think that any such incident has to be thoroughly investigated. It reminds me strongly of the events in 2003, when the U.S. representatives demonstrated at the U.N. Security Council session the presumed chemical weapons found in Iraq. The military campaign was subsequently launched in Iraq, and it ended with the devastation of the country, the growth of the terrorist threat, and the appearance of Islamic State on the world stage. Well, I have to say that Vladimir Putin looked quite calm while speaking in Moscow earlier today. But we see this happening at the time when tensions are very high and the relations between Russia and America are at its uh, worst, as some analysts say, since uh, Cold War. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is now in Moscow and he's brought here a very firm message to uh, Kremlin that Russia has now made a choice whether uh, they're staying with uh, Iran, Syria and forces like Hezbollah or they are with the West and other reliable adequate partners. So uh, this is a very tough moment uh, and uh, we will bring you the latest as soon as we get any update. Sure and no doubt it's likely to set a bit of a tone for that upcoming meeting between Rex Tillerson and Sergei Lavrov. For now though Maria Fanoshna in central Moscow thanks very much.